Hi guys, welcome back to our Sally Chan DIY. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. I would love if you joined this DIY madness by subscribing to my channel and hitting that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy DIY round wired tray. A couple of videos ago, I made a DIY two-tiered wired tray. So today's video is gonna be kind of based off of that, but I'm only gonna be making one tray. So there's so many type of trays out there right now. Um, there's the one, just the regular trays, there's two-tiered trays, there's three-tiered trays. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck? <laughs> and all of them kind of have their own twist on it, like different colors, etc., etc. But I did try to search around to make sure that, you know, I didn't see anything similar to what I wanted to make. And it's going to be super simple. You are going to be needing four supplies tops, not including any extras like paint or glue, etc. So from Dollar Tree, I will be using one of these wire baskets and also one of these clear round trays that you can find in the wedding section. I don't know exactly how big it is, but compared to what I'm gonna use next, this is about 13 inches in diameter. I may use the Dollar Tree rope or I may use the Dollar Tree twine, I don't know yet. I literally am just going with the flow right now. And from Joann's, I will be using this embroidery hoop. This is 14 inches in diameter. The price for this was $5.99, but I never ever pay a full price when I go to Joann's. I did use a 40% coupon off of regular off of a regular price item, so this came out to about $3.59. The very first thing that I'm gonna do is take my tray, turn it upside down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint it and paint. So I'm gonna be using a dark gray and a white. Okay, so taking my wire cutters, I'm just going to go ahead and take the rim of the can right off. The next thing I'm going to do is cut right along the side and all the way down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven diamonds down. So right at the end right there, that's where I'm going to be cutting. And I did seven because there's seven there are seven diamonds going down this way. In case this one strip is not enough, I can use the second strip. I'm gonna take the ends of the wire and I'm gonna align them and then overlap them so that they are together. So when I fold it over like that, there are some pieces that are longer than I want them. So they did get a little bit uneven when I stretched it out, so I'm just gonna cut the extra pieces off and just even it out so that um, one side is not longer than the other, like at the top. Okay, so with my embroidery hoop loosened up, I'm gonna go ahead and start by stuffing the wire, by stuffing the um, wire right in there. I'm at a point where I'm stuck and I don't know if I want to wrap this in twine. What I was thinking was wrapping it this way, but it's going to take me forever to like thread it through. Then I thought I can glue it this way, keep it out how it is, because you can't really tell. Um, I mean, you can see the wiring in there if you look super, super close, but if you're going to have it on your table somewhere and out of sight, like it's going to be kind of out of sight. So you guys decide what to do. So turning this over, I'm going to start bending the pieces of wire that are at the bottom inward just like this. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and add glue right, on, right around the edge of the tray here. And just when you put it in there, make sure that it's nice and even. And then I'm going to start pressing down. So here is how it looks. I don't know. I kind of like how it looks with this just the way it is because it kind of matches the rope and it just looks, I don't know, unfinished and I like it. But Ty said I should paint it. Now I just don't know which color I should paint it. And I tried and tried taking this off if you can see, but <laughs> uh, it didn't work. So I just left it and I don't know, it grew on me. It may not grow on you, but you know, again, you guys can switch it up to however you want. All right, so I ended up mixing a chalkboard green with my white and I'm just gonna mix it around and paint it, I guess. to be it for today I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave me a thumbs up leave me any comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and also if you did enjoy this video you might enjoy this video or this video or this video or this video I will see you guys on the next one bye